So what are blending modes and why do we use them? Well, blending modes help us make beautiful images, cinemagraphic looks to our videos, and to basically sort of in LumaFusion add things that we can't usually do because it's not, uh, you know, we don't have certain things in this level of video editing. So this is just an example of taking two images and blending them together to get something really cinemagraphic and beautiful. What is blending? It is a way to use color information on two digital images or more to create a composite image or video. Your top layer or layers is your blending layer, the layer blending into the base or the bottom layer. You don't usually blend anything on the bottom or the base layer. You use the top layers to blend colors, videos, text. So here is an example right here of the blend layer, which is this top layer here. And this is your base layer. It can be an image, it can be text, it can be a video. Anything you can use in LumaFusion can be your base. And the same goes for your blend. We're going to start with just two images and we're going to work with. So this is an image. I'm going to click on it to edit it so it fills this whole screen. And I'm going to come down and add another image on top of it. I have to edit this one, so I'm also going to cover it. Now, this is where blending comes in. You have your base or your background right here and your top layer, which is going to be our blending layer. What we're going to do is, again, double click on it, or we can hit this edit. And in frame and fit, right down here on the left, you go to the bottom and it says blending. The default is normal. I want to stretch this a little bit more. And I know the one I want to, we'll go through these, just roll through them. You have multiply. And you could choose any one. The whole point here is to try to keep the be thankful and snoopy. And try to keep everything as much as we can together with a nice looking. So here we are at overlay really is one of my favorites because of what I can do with it. So now I've got this image that's a little bit better than that image. In my opinion, everybody has their own opinion. And that's what's cool about blending. It's what you like. So that's how easy it is to blend an image. This is overlay. Now I can also come into that overlay image, come down here to color and effects, go up to the effects at the top, and let's just say I'm gonna to go to my blurring, and I'm gonna add some motion to this. Now that looks very Thanksgiving-y, and it certainly was better to me than that. We're gonna to go to our next one. So we're gonna take this 11 seconds of video I have here. This is my base or my background image. And now I'm going to add my overlay that I want on it. This same image again. Be thankful. I'm going to edit this by double clicking it. Go into frame and fit. And I'm going to go down to blending. Hard light. There it is. Now even pin light would be good as well. So sometimes you look at what you want out of each one. With pin light, I pretty much lose a lot of that. So it's really up to you and what you want to keep. So I want to put this down here, sort of like right here. Be thankful. And we'll pop out and see if we have any problems. So we're going to double click on that again to edit it. And just for the sake of doing it, let's see what hard light looks like. Now I'll show you what the difference is when we chose that one. Do you see what happens? We've got the lines of the actual picture showing through. That's where it gets difficult. Now, if you like this and you want to keep these colors, you can still fix that. What we're going to do is go out into cropping. We'll crop the left. We'll crop the right. You don't really have to too much, but it's always a good idea. I'm going to crop the bottom. I'm going to crop the top. Now, those lines are still going to be there. Just so you see this, pop back out, you still see those lines. So the newest features in LumaFusion 
which I love this added to cropping, is edge softness. And this is where we start to get rid of those things that drive us crazy. And we have a corner radius. So now we can come take a look and see if those are now gone. And look at that. Bringing in my edge softness and my corner radius, if I want to, I can use this blending mode, hard light instead of pin light, and I keep a little bit more of the colors that I wanted to keep. So there's no right or wrong. You have to play with them and decide and know that that cropping and using the corners radius, corner radius and edge softness are really the key to getting rid of any outline you might have in an overlay. So let's look at another one. Let's take this ripples of sand. Really love this video for some reason. I don't know why it just, it speaks to me. I really don't like is this is cool back in here, but I want to get rid of it. I want to put some clouds in there. I want it to look a little cooler. So here's a picture of sunrise that I'd saved and I'm going to bring that down on top. Now, of course, it just covers the whole image. That doesn't work. So again, I'm going to edit it. And I'm just going to bring that sunrise up where I know I want it, which is going to be about right here. And let's go into the blending modes. And there's Lighten. And without a whole lot of work, I'm able to take that image and kind of create a sunset in the background. I still keep all of this in here, which I really like. So sometimes the blending modes, something such as Lighten, it's really simple. And that's how do I make that text go over my video? I'm going to take this video and I'm going to come up here and I'm going to add an overlay title. Make it really large, as large as the video. And what I'm going to do is come to my text and I'm going to choose a text that I like that is big and really looks good in something like this. I'm going to change the size to as big as I can get it. Love for you to subscribe to the Peppy Techie. So while we're doing this, feel free to subscribe to our channel. And I'm going to, again, make this as big as I can. So now I'm going to double click or hit the edit. I'm going to come to frame and fit and go to blending. And again, that blending is stencil Luma. So there I've got a really cool look. I can kind of figure out where I want that, maybe right there. And now in my video, I actually have that text with the video moving behind it. Another way to do the exact same thing, a little different, is to put the subscribe on the bottom, your word on the bottom, come to the top, and again, to show you how blending modes can be moved around and changed, because it's all about pixel removing and adding, we're going to use the mode darken. So there's normal, normal. Now if I use darken, I get that same look. And so there it is with the subscribe above using the blending mode of stencil luma and here it is using the blending mode on the image of darken now again all these things have to do with how you want this done how you want this created what you're trying to do but i just want to show you there's a different way to do and probably other ways people could show me and that's put it down below in the comments love to hear it so i'm going to go out and do show you some different then this is another one called Darken. When I come to this, out of blending, again, Darken. The reason that looked different is because the color of the lettering is red. Now, this is Difference. So blending mode is Difference, and it just created a different look. So you're seeing through it, and it's got a difference of colors. Uh, this one, I actually took the entire image and squished it. <laughs> kind of brought it down so that it was just really this cool thing. And again, that is also difference. The other one is called pin light. So here's the words down here and above it, the video I pulled down, the blending mode is pin light. And again, it lets these colors show through. If you wanted to not have it show through so much, you can kind of play with it. So that's just a few ways that I've used um, blending and I hope this helps you. I, if you have any ideas or you have questions, you have something you'd like me to do to show you, please leave it in the comments down below and make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell so you'll be notified when I make a new video. Thanks for watching the Peppy Techie YouTube channel.
Please like, leave comments, and most important, subscribe, hit the bell to receive new video notifications. And thanks for watching.